Hi there, it's Jack, the deputy editor of Forestry Journal magazine and I'm here in the Woodland demo area as you can see behind me on the British horse logging stand here with Kate. Kate, first and foremost, how's the APF going? Uh, it's fine, it's, it's a nice start actually. We've already got a gentle stream of, of visitors coming through and the horses are, have quietly started to move timber. So, Perfect. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's quite obvious because it's behind us, but can you just tell me what it is you're showing off? Um, it's difficult for us to showcase fully what we're doing, mm. but it's just, it's We've got a variety of sizes of timber mm. and we've got a couple of um, different bits of kit but really it's to, we're here to show people that horses are still a viable possibility, a viable option in mm. current forestry. So yeah, so it's an opportunity for us to chat face to face with people and um, showcase what we mm. can do. And those people you're chatting to, what, what are you saying to them? What, you know, why, why is it a valuable option, which may seem obvious, but why, why is it? Um, the horses can go into woodlands either where machinery can't mm. access or where they're not welcome. So environmentally sensitive, mm. archaeologically sensitive sites. We can do difficult access, steep sites, wet sites, mm. really where the machines can't go or where they want a low impact option. Mm. Um, and the horses, we can chat to them about working the horses alongside the machinery as well. So making it cost effective for the clients. Mm. And how long has this been? I know it's obviously an ancient practice, but how long have you been involved? How long has the organisation been going for? Uh, the organisation has been going for probably, it's fairly young actually, maybe mm. 16, 16, 17 years mm. as an organisation. My business has been running for about 14 mm. and it's got busier and busier. So there's a lot more interest, I think, in mm. people using horses within woodland management. There's a lot of unmanaged woodland in the UK. 65% mm. I think of UK woodland is unmanaged. So the horses, one of the options where they come into their own is first thinnings, mm. a woodland that's not been managed at all. So because you just need the space of the horse and the equipment mm. um, to come into that woodland. So they are, yeah, that's one of their strengths really is in first thinnings. Yeah, and you mentioned that and you mentioned the kind of work they're doing. Who are they, who are they working for? Who, what kind of clients are approaching you? Uh, clients, uh, that's opening up as well. So mm. private woodland owners, community woodlands, local authorities, but also organisations like the Woodland Trust and Forestry Commission, mm. Natural Resources Wales, RSPB, wildlife organisations. They're all organisations thinking more about using horses. So if you look at the Wildlife Trust mm. and things, they've all got sensitive sites mm. um, where they're really wanting minimal disturbance. Um, so, but then the, organi the larger organisations like Woodland Trust mm. and the Forestry Commission things, it's, it's exciting that big woodland managers like that are using horses in sensitive pockets where they can't put machinery in. Mm. Um, and we're bringing the timber to a point where the machine can then take it out the rest of the way, mm. which keeps it cost effective as well. Yeah, and I suppose that's an interesting point about the cost effectiveness, because you know, right now we can't escape, people are talking about fuel prices going up cost of living etc yeah. this is maybe where horse logging again is going to come into its own yeah, i hope so i think so because although people sometimes think that using the horses is mm. expensive you don't have to put any ex infrastructure in before you start mm. and there's little or no reinstatement once they finish so mm. those costs are just non-existent and if you you know we, we've already been moving timber around here and there's just no it's minimal surface damage mm. so that again makes the horses viable um, yeah. so it's it balances out and actually with timber fry prices being quite good at the moment mm. that we can turn a small profit for the you know on the timber as well mm. using the horses yeah which is great and from you've got quite a unique perspective of the industry you know from the, the side that you're doing it's, it's not quite the same as, as, as other parts how do you see things at the moment how do you see the industry what, what you know the kind of strength of it the the positions in um i that's quite difficult. I feel that it's it's improving. It's mm. it's it is strengthening, and there is definitely a lot more interest. A lot more people interested in coming into the trade, and mm. we run an apprenticeship scheme through British Horse Loggers, and there's a lot of people actually wanting to start to do things that we after you know through the pandemic things people are also looking at different ways of working, and a lot more people are wanting to be more in touch environmentally. So mm. um, there's yeah, but it's definitely a place for, for working horses in in current forestry we're judged we're judged yeah. <laughs> against the big machines and things um, because obviously we we can't bring out the tonnage every day um, mm. that they can 
but um, yeah, it's a it's a tough audience. <laughs> it's tough, but listen, I'm sure you're going to try. You'll convince some people as the I day goes hope on. So, I mean, I I always feel if you only turn a handful of people mm. towards thinking about that, you've you've succeeded because there's going to be thousands of people coming through over the next few days, and there'll be a lot of people who'll just walk straight past. But if you can draw in a few people mm. and you know bring bring some work in, um, and then that that ripples out it's a slow burner sometimes people will have seen this mm -hmm. and they'll go away and then they'll go home to their woodlands and things and they go oh yeah hang on a minute i could use a horse in here yeah so yeah they'll have seen us here and taken the information away